Good evening, pyjama people. Say good evening, Harry. Good evening. We are going to read you a cool story today because this boy is feeling lazy today, so he's not going to read The Dragon and the Nibbles on Night. The, no, it's so, called The Dragon and the Nibbles on Night. I told you. I fell with the Nibbles on Night and the Dragon behind it. Okay, so we're gonna read this story now. So as soon as this boy assumes the reading position, come on, lay down. I'm not gonna read. Lay down. I'm not gonna read. He's being lazy today, so he's not gonna read. So I'm reading this book for you guys tonight. So it's called The Dragon and the Nibbles on Night. So there's a nice map well, anyway, in here. Anyway, if it's if Halloween or close to Halloween, happy Halloween. Halloween is in two days now. Yeah. So, the dragon and the nibblesome knight. Cover up. Hmm. Duvet up. Feeling cozy? Yeah. Nice and warm? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what did you eat for dinner today? Yeah. What did you eat for <laughs> dinner today? Yeah. So he had yeah for dinner. <laughs> okay, the dragon and the nibblesome knight. The dragons of dread were a terrible brain. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I did it wrong. Let's start again. The dragons of dread were a terrible bunch. They ate boys for their breakfast and girls for their lunch. But the best things of all, their favorite delights, were dribblesome, nibblesome, noble need nights. When the smallest of all dragons turned four, his parents said, Drum, you're a baby no more. This net's getting cramped and you never once flown. Now go about a nibble some night of your own. So Drum stretched his wings and he started to flap. But the lightning went flash and the thunder went clap. It hailed and it gailed and the winds looped and curled and they whisked the drum away to the end of the world where he had thumped and he bumped and he went bounce, clatter, crash and he fell in a lake with a fountainous SPLASH! Now every time we see some words like this splash that is marked in here because it's in big letters with a massive exclamation point this boy thinks he needs to shout. <laughs> That's not very good of you because it's a bedtime story. You shouldn't be shouting about. <laughs> now, watching the skies by the edge of the shore was young James who had not seen a dragon before. And he cried, what was that? It's some rare kind of duck. It seems to be hurt, but to do. What bad luck. So he took off his armor and said with a grin, with a grin, I'm coming to help you. And he waded right in. A lad, muttered Dram. Well, he might stay still right. Though my mum says I must nab a nibble some night. And he stretched out a claw, then he suddenly stopped. His leg was all bent, and his paw simply flopped. Oh, ducky, cried James. Why, you poor injured thing. Sit yourself down and I'll make you a sling. He made a sling. <laughs> That's better, thought Drum. Now I must find a bite of a dribblesome, nibblesome, nubble need night. So he waved goodbye and he tried to breathe smoke. But all that came out was a hoarse kind of croak. Oh, ducky cried James as drums struggled to roar. What a strong sort of quack. Why, your throat must be sore. Come to the woods and I'll fetch you some honey. It makes good medicine all soothing and runny. That's better, thought Drum. Now I must find a bite of a dribblesome, nibblesome, nubble need night. So he waved goodbye and started to fly but his wings were too weak to take off to the sky. Oh, ducky, cried James. I'm so dreadfully rude. 
You must feel quite faint. Let me get you some food. Come to the orchard. We'll soon fill our thumbs full of pears and pink peaches and big purple plums. That's better, yawned Drum. Now I must find a bite. But he fell asleep on the moon marble night. In the morning, Drum woke and said, Hey, I feel fine. Soon a bite of a nibblesome night will be mine. And he bellowed out billow, billions and billowing flames. Then he thought, I'll say bye to the little lad James. So he strode down the road and he stomped through the field. Oh, wait. What does that say? School sports day with special no, guests. This, no, no. Today, school sports day with special guests, the Dragons of Dread. Ooh. And there was young James with a sword and a shield. You're a knight, shouted Drem. You're not a simply lad. You're a dragon, yelled James. You're all beastly and bad. Yes, muttered Drum. I suppose I should bite. Ho, oh, mumbled James. Then I guess I should fight. It must be all over. The finish. The end. Then they both said at once, but I can't. You're my friend. My friend, chortled James as he put on his sword. My friend, shouted Drem as he smiled and as he roared. The knights all said, dragons, they are not simply beasts. The dragon said, knights aren't so nice for our feasts. Nibble at nights, well, of course we do not. Though every so often, they sort of forgot. What did they sort of forgot? To nibble the knights. They shouldn't be nibbling the knights. But look at this one. He's carrying one in his mouth. Look, by his pants. Yeah, his pink dotted <laughs> pants. Yeah. And that was the dragon and the nibblesome knight. We haven't finished this yet. Because guess what? We have more things to do. Okay, Harry, stop. Stop. We'll be right back, folks. No, no he's still running. And we are back. But this time, this boy is going to read a book. What are you reading, boy? Space Walkies. Space Walkies. Come on, by Robert Dunn. Bailey was Orson's dog, and Orson was Bailey's boy. Every day, ba Bailey loved to sniff out new adventures. Adventures like sleeping on Mum's best sheets, helping himself to Orson's Orson's dinner or even chewing on dad's new slippers Bailey adventures always got him into trouble Bailey's Favorite adventure was exploring the neighbor's garden. He particularly particularly liked the garden at number twelve, the one that belonged belonged to a family. Famous, famous yeah. astronaut. One day, a gig giant, gigantic space rocket was parked on the astronaut's lawn. No, no, 
Nosy. Nosy. Nosy baby couldn't help but scamper, scampered inside to play. He sniffed at buttons and bunched, bunched happily around, bounced, bounced happily around the control. Can you put the book properly, boy? Deck. Bounce, bounce. Then he activates. Accidentally. Accidentally, that on a big red button. Marked. Gin, gin, tom. Ignition. Ignition. The ignition. The engines. Engines roared into action, blasting the rocket into space. Bailey wrote. Thought. Thought that. Orson would be made mad at him, but he was having too much fun to worry. He didn't know how to fly a rocket, but luckily it was programmed. Programmed. Programmed to land on the moon. Before you could shout, he heel healed, boy, heel boy, Bailey was in his spaceship. No, uh, read that space space suit and zooming off in search of adventure hey and so did with a flump, flump. okay go on minutes later bailey came shooting back from the other side of the moon had found some new friends to play with. Shiny, shiny, shiny robot pooch, pooches, pooches, and they're quite, quietly, equally, equally, shiny, shiny, all yeah. the other owner. Oh no. Mm -hmm. You're a long way from home already. Aren't you? Uh, you, you boy, be beeped the robot owner. Bailey whined. Whined? Whined sadly but the thought. Thought? Thought. Of home, Orson would normally be walking him in the park about now. He missed him terribly. Don't be sad, said the robot. I know what will cheer you up. Yay! Okay, go on. To Bailey's amazement, amazement. Yeah, amazement. The robot unscrewed one of his arms and hold. Yeah. It passed him with his 
other arm. Fetch boy, he shouted. What? It's right here at the bottom. Unable. Unable. Unable to resist. To what? Resist. 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 Fetching the stick arm. Bailey chased. Chased. Chased after it ha as it hurled. Hurtled. Hurtled through space towered towards towards Earth. Earth. That's what I said. Yes, go on. Faster and faster went Bailey. Thumb tumbling? Tumbling toward Earth. Towards Earth. At What's that? Incredible. Incredible speed. He even thrown Eventually. Eventually caught hold of the thick oh uh, his eyes at the As he prepared. As he prepared where? And shut his eyes as he prepared for a frightening crash landing. Yeah. When he opened his his eyes, how was the However However he was tucked up in his basket with Orson at his side. I will never run away again, he thought, looking mm -hmm. up at his friend. Bailey had dreamed, dreamt, dreamed, dreamt the whole thing. He would be much happier, happier, happier with normal, normal, yeah, normal walkies, 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 walkies from no now no. From now on. From now on, after all, dogs can't really go on space walkies, can they? <laughs> and that was. Do you think it's a real space walkies? Or not? <laughs> and first, can we do something else? No, because right now is that time of the night where. This little boy is going to say something that he never says. What is it? Say good night, Harry. Good night, Harry. And good night for me. Good and night. Say good night, Harry. Good night, Harry. Good night, Harry. Good night, Harry. And stop. And then. Stop. 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 Stop.